Welcome back to Computer Science 3200. Today we have a bonus stream, uh, which is the tournament for Connect 4, which was assignment 3 for our class. So today is Remembrance Day, which is a holiday in Canada. Uh, it's kind of like the Veterans Day of uh, the United States, where we, you know, remember all the uh, the fallen. I think it was started in in for World War One, but of course any any war. So um, Remembrance Day is important. It's a holiday, but I decided to do this on the holiday. So this is a completely optional lecture. You don't have to watch this, but for anyone in the class who uh, submitted a working assignment three, we're going to be doing this uh, this tournament for Connect Four. So I created a link to the bracket and I posted it out there in the chat. So we have 35 players in this tournament and the format is going to be um, single elimination tournament, but, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a single elimination tournament uh, where we're going to play two out of three. And so you'll get one chance at the first player and one chance at the second player. And if someone wins or loses both of those two, then the match is over. But if there's a third, then we'll just choose a random uh, starting point for the third player or for the third match. Um, and this challenge website is the slowest thing I've ever used. So what I've done is I've just taken that bracket and I've copied and pasted it over in paint here so that I can go through and just copy stuff here. So um, I do have the names of students on the on the website or uh, here on the stream. I apologize. I don't mean to like give out any personal information later on if you're like super uh, paranoid about your your last name being out there then I can delete the VOD or whatever but essentially the groups are just named by the last name of both people in the group okay so that's how we're going to do the bracket and because we don't have a multiple of two there are a few people out here who have to play this sort of uh, qualification match to get into the top 32 right so we're gonna have 32 matches at the very least um, times two at the very least, so that's 64 games at least. Each one of them is going to take at least a minute, so we're in here for probably about two hours, I'd say, this will take. So, um, I've got some apparently royalty-free music playing in the background here, so just, like, get some popcorn and we'll, uh, we'll start the show. Okay, so, uh, that's the tournament format. The match rules are going to be, um... We're going to select the players. We're going to have a maximum depth of zero, meaning that there's no depth limit, but um, there is a time limit of 1,000. So each sec each player will have one second to think about their move. Now, because this is like, you know, I have not run this tournament yet. Things could go wrong. So what will happen is if I see any error messages over here or any illegal moves being played, I'm going to rerun the game once, and if it happens again, the person who generated the errors is just disqualified from the tournament, okay? Now, this doesn't affect your Merc whatsoever, it's just that I, I can't go debug all of your solutions. So they either work perfectly, or they don't, and if they don't, then they're just out of the tournament. Uh, the TAs did a good job of filtering the ones that worked so far, um, but... Uh, you know, some things come up in, in the real tournament that never came up in the testing for the TAs. So that can just happen. All right. So let's get into the tournament then. And here we have the first game versus uh, between Hardat and Lou Pumphrey. All right. And these are this is a mix of 3200 and 6980. So I don't know uh, by the names who's in what class. So we'll see at the end here. Um who win or like whether or not it was the undergrads or the grad students who ended up uh, winning. And if you're in the chat when your game is playing, just like give a little cheer or something out there so I know that uh, people are actually watching their own games. I think that would be fun. Okay, Hardat and Lou Pumphrey. So let's refresh to get everything. Uh, so we got Hardat first and we have Lou Pumphrey second. And when I play the second game, this is going to be switched. So player one will be Lou Pumphrey and player two will be hard at. Okay. So here we go. There's the settings. Turn on autoplay. All right. Now, as this is playing, I'm not going to be giving any like, you know, baseball commentary because I don't know what every group is doing. 
However, sometimes there may be a visual bug where like you see kind of two moves happen at the same time. And that's just a visual bug. Nothing, nothing bad is happening behind the scenes. Oh, so this is already getting pretty spicy. Both people seem to be having decent heuristics that played in the middle of the board to start. We should see moves starting to get faster now. And the reason they're getting faster is people see the end of the screen. All right. So Lou Pumphrey gets the first one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make like a little... Uh, like a one or something like that. Congrats to, to Lou Pumphrey for taking that close game. Um, this is going to be a complete, a complete mess. Let me drag this music player over here so I don't have to toggle between two windows. All right, so Lou Pumphrey won that one, and now we're going to switch between player one and player two. And unfortunately, what happens sometimes is that the player's algorithms are like exactly as good. And it just so happens that whoever got player one won the match, right? So if I play this now in reverse and Herdat wins as player two, then essentially both players are tied. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to generate a random number. And um, we'll, with that random number, we'll see who plays as player one the next time. And so some matches, unfortunately, just can come down to whether or not you got ran like player one or player two, or whether or not you played the first, the, like the best person in the first match. So with single elimination tournaments like this, don't worry if you don't get up near the front, right? There's a lot of randomness with the pairings, etc. So just, just realize that it's not like the end of the world if you don't do well. All right, so we have reversed the settings and now let's see what happens. So Lou Pumphrey is yellow. They were the team that won the first match. All right, good match again. Properly blocking off the wins and the losses. Player two wins, okay. So this is an unfortunate kind of situation. Um, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna do something a little different. For the third game, we're first, we're going to go uh, random.org and I'm going to generate a random number between 0 and 1 or 1 and 2, I guess. This is where Hardat is going to be. Okay, so Hardat is going to be this player. Hardat is going to be 1. All right. So in order to make things a little less random, so Hardat is 1, Lou Pumphrey is this one. I'm going to juice this up a little bit. All right. So now we're going to have a bigger board. Uh, let's not let's not do it this much. Okay, there we go. So we're going to have a bigger board for this game just to see who covered their bases the best. Okay, here we go. Let's see if they can do this one properly. So it's Connect 4, but I can change the settings in any way that I want. So for, the, for a tie-breaking game, you have to be able to win on this bigger board. Well, here's the thing. So someone just said, if we don't get first rounded, I'll count it as a success. Well, you know, someone has to play the eventual winner in the first round. So if you lost to the winner, that's not a failure either, right? So cheer for the person who beat you in single elimination tournaments. <laughs> oh, we got an interesting game going on here. These two teams are so evenly matched, so it'll it'll be kind of sad to see one go in the first round. So evenly matched, that's crazy. Player one, okay, so player two didn't win, so congratulations to Hardat for making it to the next round. So we've got Hardat, and I'll copy and paste that. Oh, jeez into the next round. Perfect, all right. So now we go down to these two teams. So Chikwati Banjiri versus Mohammed Singh. All right, so we'll do that. So congratulations to Hardat. Lou Pumphrey, there's no 
there, there's no, um, no hard feelings about that one. It was very hard fought. So we have uh, Chikwadi Banjiri and Mohammed Singh. All right. So first game. Let's see how it goes. If anyone wants to talk in the chat about what they did, how they think they'll do, any sort of trash talking, did you test against other players? Um, please feel free to put that there. I'll more than happily read it out. Ooh, player one illegal action. Uh-oh. Chikwadi Banjiri. We're going to reload and try it again. One more is an auto loss. Ah, look at this. We've got an infinite loop somewhere. All right. Chikwadi Banjiri and Mohammed Singh. Turn on autoplay. So if it happens again, that's an auto loss for that team. Unfortunately. See, the TAs didn't test enough. No, I'm just joking. TAs did a good job. All right. Illegal action. Sorry, player one. Chikwadi Banjiri has been eliminated. DQ. All right. So, unfortunately, not enough testing. So, Mohammed Singh moves on to round number two. Alrighty. Harrison, Harris Abraham versus Ahmed. Let's do it. Okay. Come on, Firefox. You can do it. All right. Harris Abraham versus Ahmed. Here we go. Game number one. All right. That uh, any trolling in the chat, that's an auto ban. So don't troll the chat. Um, I lost my first made chess engine. Was happy and sad both. <laughs> I tested against myself and always lost. Yeah, that's that's brutal. You can never win when you play against yourself. Uh, so someone asked, I'm surprised how many teams only have one person. Yeah, a lot of people decided to work on the assignments themselves. Um, I think a lot of them chose that, but of course there are some cases. Oh, we got a player. Oh, oh, we got a draw. Oh, wow. Okay. We got a draw. So this is interesting. You can draw in Connect 4. So we've got a draw for the first game here. Now we're going to flip it. So we've got Ahmed versus Harris Abraham. Turn on autoplay. So this is, this is interesting. So I've got more viewers now than for any lecture since the first lecture. So, um, sorry, I just got to turn off my phone. So people love the tournament more than the lectures. I see, I see how it is, right? I see how it is. I guess it's a holiday, so you're all at home chilling too. Okay. Oh man, if this is another draw, what are we going to do for the last game? Oh, player one. Okay. Ahmed gets um, this one. So that's one for Ahmed. Good job, Ahmed. And now we generate a random number. So this is where Ahmed is going to play. Two. So Ahmed is going to be player two. So we've got... Um, we're going to restart. Harris, Abraham, we've got Ahmed here, and because it's the third game, we crank it up. We crank it up. Here we go. I'm not in the course, but I joined for this. Nice. So if anyone doesn't understand what we're doing, this is a course. It's a university course. It's an introduction to artificial intelligence. And this is the assignment where we implemented the Minimax algorithm with alpha beta pruning to play Connect 4. And all of the assignments which worked significantly well were entered into this tournament. And this is purely for street cred. There are no marks depending on this. And you can see here that we have a one second timer for each player. And as the game starts to get closer and closer to the end, the reason it speeds up is because the searches are seeing the end of the game, right? So if they're seeing the end of the game, they don't need to, sp to spend that full 
second on the moves. Wow, another two really close teams. Um, player one, Harris Abraham won. Wow, okay, so we got a draw and two. I mean, this is as close as it can possibly come. I gotta have fourth the game. All right, so we're now in sudden death mode. And what I'm going to do is essentially just flip the players on this map. So we've got Harris, Abraham, and Ahmed. And now we restart the game. All right, so this is for all the marbles. This is more stressful than the midterm. I know, it's it's like surprisingly stressful, isn't it? To see your, your code on display. I remember there was a... I, I've had a couple of... Um, I've had a couple of tournaments in classes before that meant absolutely nothing for the mercs, but you just want to be proud of your code, right? I think the difficulty increased since you added the depth tests. I heard last semester's year didn't have it. Yeah, they had it last semester, but not before. Okay, player one wins. Congratulations to Ahmed. That was a very heart fought battle. And uh, there is no shame, Harris Abraham, for not winning that one. That was down to the wire. All right. And look at that. All of these really good teams, unfortunately, didn't make it into the top 32. But that's just because of the random pairings, okay? Single elimination is all I could do because of the time that's allowed. So just understand that. There's a lot of randomness to this, right? It's not a round robin tournament. So, um... Let's go up to the top, and now we've got Nash versus Hardat. So Nash versus Hardat. And we know that Hardat knows what they're doing. How does Nash do? Well, we'll see. Nash versus Hardat. Let's turn on autoplay. Nash keeping uh, keeping up with hard at. That's good. We got a couple of threes blocked off here. I like this little uh, this little structure that was made. Player two. Okay, so hard at won the first game. We'll go mark that. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller font here. Let's go to fourteen. All right. So hard at won the first game. We will go back. And now we go hard at Nash. Restart the game. So if hard at wins this one, they've taken the round. And again, it's two out of three. The uh, finals will be three out of five. I'll make sure that the finals, like, we get a winner and it's not just randomness. Player two. Okay, so Nash won that one. So we've got another game going to three. Wow, I'm very I'm very proud of everyone for like all these solutions that are going to three games. That's crazy. So as we always do, uh, this will be the player that Nash gets. Okay, uh, let's allow random.org. Okay, so Nash will be player two. All right, HTML. Uh, Nash is player two. That means Hardat is player one. So we go Nash, and for game three, we crank it up. All right, let's go. Game three. Yeah, every game has been amazing so far. There's been no absolute blunders. Like, you can see that people are blocking off uh, wins and losses. Player two wins. All right, congratulations to Nash for the victory over Hardat in game number three. All right, so we will take Nash. We will move Nash over to here. So Nash is the first player in the top 16. Now we have Shaji Rabi versus uh, Nguyen Abdelraham. Okay. 
Sorry, what was that first player again? Shaji Rabi. And Nguyen Abdul Rahan. All right, turn on autoplay. I'm going to make a quick phone call here. Apologies. I'm, I, I have dinner plans and they just call. While this is playing, I'm going to go look at that. All right, I'm back. The game is a draw. All right. Um, someone uh, asked how I did the seeds. Um, so I inputted all the names into challenge.com and then I hit shuffle seeds. So that's it, just, just completely random. I didn't want to rank anyone first. Um, okay, so we just had a draw between these two teams. So let's go back to the bracket and we will mark down a draw for the first game. Oop, put it over here. Now we reverse. So we have this team and this team, and we restart the game. All right, game number two. Draw in the first match. <laughs> yeah, seeding based on submission time. I don't think you'd want to be team number one. And I don't, I don't think I'd want to have every single submission at 11.59 p.m. Player two wins. Okay. Shaji Rabi taking one game. Perfect. Now game number three, as you know, we go to the random pairing. So this is where Shaji Rabi will be. Player two. Okie doke. So we're going to refresh. This is... These are the teams. And we pump it up. And turn on autoplay. There we go. Good luck in the third game. So how long did people out there spend on their um, their heuristic functions? How did you, how did you make them? How did you know when it was done? It's always interesting to see that. I spent like three days exploring, but in the end, I went back to my initial simple one. Yep. I knew... <laughs> that's, a, that's a fine answer. I knew when it was 11.55 p.m. and I had to submit. Two days. That's great. A lot of people put a lot of time into it. Which shows, I mean, the games have been excellent so far. Player two wins. All right. Shaji Rabi with the second win, taking it. Here we go. Congratulations to Shaji Rabi. Moving on to the top 16. All right, next, Price Din and Riggs Butler. Price Din and Riggs Butler. Autoplay, let's go. Okay, so Player one won that one because player two search took too long to compute. Could not find solution in time limit. All right. So Riggs Butler maybe not performing as well as they would have wanted to there. So that was a win for Price Din. All right. I blame the TAs for that one. All right. So I'm just, I'm just joking around. TAs are lovely. So we'll flip it. Uh, but I, I expect... There may be a, a predictable outcome here. Um, so Riggs Butler versus Price Din. Turn on auto play. Okay. All right, player two one. So Riggs Butler having a little bit of an issue there, but that's okay. Uh, you'll, you, that, you know, Depending on how you pass the test, your marks won't be too affected by that, so don't worry. Um, 
It's got, you gotta perform under pressure, you know? It's all, it's not about practice. It's about, it's about performing on the day. So priced in, moves on to the top 16. And you can see how sometimes the random pairing. All right, so anyone making fun of teams is gonna get a timeout, all right? We're not, we're not here to shame anybody. They handed their assignment, the assignment worked. They just, you know, tripped up at the starting line there. All right, so now we have Zazu and Zinran Sun. Okay, so we have Zazu and Zinran Sun. All right, here we go. For people out there saying that you're really invested in all that, you should say which team you are so that we know who to cheer for out there in the chat, right? Okay, so both of these appear to be working really well. Oh no, okay, so you're Harris Abraham. That was a close fought battle though, so. Player one wins. We got Zazu taking the first match. All right, Zazu gets a one. Now we flip it. We got Zinran Sun on top and Zazu on the bottom. We start game. Again, another really close game. Oh no! What happened? Actually, I didn't refresh the browser for that one. I want I want to redo that one because it's possible. So that was Zin Ransan and Zazu. I, I I want to refresh the browser. I forgot to refresh it that game. Okay. So let's turn on autoplay and we'll do that one again. Just in case they have some global variable or something that they're using that they shouldn't have been. The, the results should be exactly the same though. Yeah, okay. So, uh, player two wins. So Zazu took that one. Zinran Sun in the second game. Maybe something not quite right when they're player one with their heuristic. But that's okay. Zazu taking it down. Moving into the top 16. Alrighty. Now, we've got Jamir Bacchus and Naubut. Apologies if I'm not per uh, pronouncing the names correctly. Versus French. Alright, so let's go to that one. Jamir versus French. Here we go. Even AIs can get performance anxiety. That's true. I've seen it happen. If you've, We're going to watch the movie AlphaGo at the end of this... Um, at the end of this class, once we know, like, once we've learned all the algorithms that we can really appreciate the movie. Um, and even, like, 40 DeepMind technicians from Google, like, their AI broke in one of the games. Okay, so, like, don't, don't feel bad that your AI broke. It, it happens some, it just, it can happen. Mine has happened. Um, it's happened to me. Okay, so we have French taking a win there. So French gets a one. Let me move it over so I can see it easier. And now we will flip the team. So French goes on top. And Jameer on bottom. Here we go. I watched a talk from DeepMind about AlphaZero and AlphaGo because I'm very interested in chess. Looking forward to it. Yeah, so the, the movie AlphaGo, it's, it's on YouTube. Um, we won't actually be watching it on the stream. Um, we we'll, I'll just be assigning it as watching. Oh, player one won. Okay. So, French won, um, Jameer not doing as well as when they were player one, but that's fine. Uh, French is moving on to the next round. Alrighty, so French moves on here. Now we have Ahmad Rodriguez and Hussein Alam. Alright. Um, what was that first team? Ahmad Rodriguez, was that it? Yep. Yeah. And Hossein Alam. Here we go. <laughs> Someone in the chat says, Are you part of Hossein Alam? Because oh, you're only allowed to make fun of it if it's your if it's your AI, right? Okay. Let's show the world how to lose, he says. Okay. Well, I'm not going to say, but you said it. Um, uh, Ahmad Rodriguez taking game one in spectacular fashion. So here we go. 
there's one win for them. And now we're going to flip the two teams. So we have Hossein Alam. And there we go. Let's flip them and play. So that was a quick first game, but you never know. Maybe they just prefer to be yellow. Right? Red is just not their color. Player two wins. All right. So kind of the same game. They got this little weakness in the middle, right? They were doing well over here, but uh, it was not to be. So Ahmad Rodriguez taking it down in two straight games. Okie dokie. So they move on to the round of 16. Next, Kapoor Sachani and... Z I I'm sorry, I don't... Zara Pak Ziabari. Zara Pak Ziabari and Gray. All right. So, let's see here. I forgot the first name already. Kapoor. And... Gray. Let's do it. Thanks everyone for, tune for tuning in, by the way, to watch the Connect Four tournament. It's, it's so much more fun when there's pe people out there, you know, chirping and talking along without... Uh, without having to do this by myself. <laughs> Gets pretty boring when you're when you're doing the commentary by yourself. So people, these two teams really like him going left to right. Oh, player one. So Kapoor Sachni taking that first one down. So they get a point. All right, and now we'll flip them. So it's Kapoor, Sachni, and Z on the top. Here we go. I'm entertained by the various outcome, the investment of the people who wrote the code, the different ways the AIs are approaching playing. Yeah, I really wish that we had time to like go into all the heuristics and discussing it. If anyone wants to type out in the chat what team they are and what they did for their heuristic, I'd be happy to read it out. Um, but I, I don't have time to like dissect the code, nor do I want the like the solution code to be on the slide. Does the winning team get an interview at the end? Maybe, maybe if we have time. Um, oh, look at this. So the other team won the next game. Perfect, so you know what that means. All right, this is the team that Kapoor Sach Sachni will be for the third game. So they will be player two. All right, so we're going to select the teams again. Kapoor Sachni. And we got to crank it up for game number three. So this is for all the marbles here. This is the third game. Student wants Dave's dinner plan. So the funny thing is, <laughs> well, just to be, I was supposed to go over to my mom's house for supper and she just called and canceled on me. What kind of, what kind of free meal is that? She, she forgot that she had plans, so. So I have to make my own dinner like a chump tonight. Okay, Ooh, okay, so we block one off there. These big games get me pretty tense. Order a pizza. Yeah, I should. I live out in St. Phillips, though, and so, like, if I get skip the dishes, it costs me, like, 50 bucks to get a $15 pizza. It's nuts. It's like, it's better for me to drive out and, and get a pizza than it is to get the pizza delivered. Have last place <laughs> drive me a pizza. No. I don't think I'll do that. Oh, this isn't a tie, is it? Oh, all right. Well, we're flipping the teams and we're doing the same game. So that was a draw. This is tense. This is tense. You can't get any, uh, any closer than this. So Kapoor Sachni goes on top. Z on the bottom and we pump it up all right here we go are we gonna have our first game five is 3d pin printed pizza a thing uh, if I'm going to st. Phillips I'm in paradise I gotta go <laughs> no no one's bringing me pizza don't worry about it I want to have something a little bit healthier tonight actually I could go put a pizza in the oven now and it will be ready before the <laughs> tournament is over oh wow so player two one 
congratulations um here we go so Zar Zarapaxia Barry Gray moves on to the next round. Congratulations. And as you saw, that could have gone either way. One team won one, another team won another. All right. So now we have Valuevev and Lineage. Lianage. Lianage. All right. Here we go. New game. My team now. Congra oh. Good luck. One of our one of our most prolific chatters is currently playing. What did you do for your heuristic? Hopefully that simple heuristic wins. Oh yeah. So someone said if you're going to get pineapple it has to be with ham. That's a Hawaiian pizza. Of course. So player one has been on the offensive here. Player two on the defensive, it looks like. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, am I seeing a player two victory here? Yep. Lianaj Penny taking the first game. Chat is in shambles. Chat is in shambles. All right, we'll flip the teams. Here we go. Second game. Pineapple and banana peppers is a wicked combo. Oh, I've never tried that before. I usually get the, uh, my go-to pizza in St. John's is, uh, Domino's because it's cheap. So the Domino's extravaganza is like, so if, if you let X equal deliciousness divided by price, that's the best pizza in my opinion, is that. Pineapple on a barbecue sauce pizza. Man, jeez, you guys like sugar, don't you? Player one. Oh, no. Well, no, I'm not cheering for anyone. I'm just saying that. Uh, so, Lin Leonage Penny is uh, going to the next round. F's in the chat for, for Mudkiff. For Value Vev Comstone. All right. Here we go. Leonage Penny moving on. To the next round. Wow, we've got a lot of games to play, haven't we? Jeez, what did I sign up for? I'm not getting paid for this. All right, Rose and Mohammed Singh. Rose and Mohammed Singh. My nuts. Oh, M is after H, Dave. Here we go. F's in the chat. Yeah, we got lots of F's out there. Are draws possible in Connect 4? Um, welcome. Yes, we have had three draws already, in fact. And some people are wondering about this over here. This is sort of the console output where some people are printing stuff, some people aren't. I just have this open because it lets me know if there's any errors in the code. Okay. Um, so, player 2-1. So, Mohammed Singh with the first round victory here we go all right so now i flip them so uh muhammad singh is on the top and rose on the bottom and if we forgot muhammad singh actually came from the uh the qualification round up here uh because of the way the brackets worked there were some people who had to fight their way into the top 32 um, so some people said, what happens in case of a draw? Well, that has already happened. I'll, I'll explain the rules now in a second when I go back to the, um, to the chat. Okay, so Muhammad Singh takes game number two as well. So here's what has happened. Um, so the format is best two out of three. And for example, over here, there was a draw in the first game. And then one player won the next game and another player won the next game. And so we were still at a draw. And so what I do is I change the settings a little bit and then play another game. Okay. So I try and make it as fair as possible, but we, as long as they keep drawing, I keep playing. And any game after game number three is now sudden death mode. All right. So now we have Yaksh Hadri versus Coffee. So let's reload. Yaksh Hadri. 
Oh no. Student Yaks Hadri is not defined. All right, so I need to uh, put you guys on the black screen for a second. So this was the last minute entry uh, that I found out worked. All right, I did not include their code. All right, so now this should be fine. Ah, one second, gotta go back. All right, now it should work. Perfect, okay. All right, so now, all right, so that one worked. Yaks Hadri versus coffee. I'll get back to the chat now in a sec. Turn on auto play, let's go. All right, um, so we got a bunch of chat here that I just missed while I was fixing. Um, the weird thing happened, if my algorithm played itself, it always lost going first when it should be the opposite. That's interesting. You should investigate that. Is there a chance it maxed and minned for the wrong player? It's very possible that it could do that. As long as they keep drawing, I keep playing. Let's hope we don't get a match between two students who mixed up their heuristics. Um, okay. So, we have Coffee taking the first game versus Yaks Hadri. So let's write that down. Okie doke. And now we flip them. Coffee versus Yaks Hadri. That one was interesting. Both AIs weren't seeing wins or blocks. So here's the thing that may not be obvious when you're watching this is that when the Minimax algorithm sees a win or a loss is inevitable, sometimes it won't make a good move in the interim. So we got player one, so coffee won again. So what happens is the AI sees, oh, I'm going to win anyway, right? So I don't necessarily need to take the immediate win. I'll take the win like three turns from now. So. When that happens, it looks foolish, um, but it's still correct. So what you have to do in that case is you have to build into your heuristic, not only to take wins, but to take the soonest wins, right? And the reason you take the soonest win is because you want it to be over as soon as possible. Oops. So sometimes if you think it's doing something dumb, it may not be as dumb as you think um, because they haven't built that in. All right, so now we have Borden Shaw versus Julie. So Borden Shaw versus Julie. Someone said, why did a team get a DQ? It's because they had an error in their code that produced an illegal move. And so the rules at the beginning were if anyone has any crashes, or any um, illegal moves or error messages, they get one retry, and if it crashes again, then they're out. Okay, so Julie takes that one pretty quickly. So Julie gets the one, and then we are going to flip it. So Julie versus Borden Shaw. <laughs> Mudkip says, I'm gonna go organize my loser's black bracket. Um, some copium there, I think. Oh, wow. Okay. That that wasn't the, the best performance, but that's okay. So Julie takes it in two games. All right. So Julie moves on to the next round. So some AIs, like you said, a little bit of performance anxiety, maybe. They've never put, they've never competed on the, uh, on the big stage before. So we won't hold that against them. Uh, Seaward versus Rojas Mati. Seaward versus Rojas Mati. Here we go. 
I think that's the only time I ever hear a prof of mine say copium. Yeah, I don't think that's in the... Uh... Okay. Um, Rojas Mati went for it. Let's have a replay of that game. They went for it. But unfortunately, um, full sending when your player two doesn't work. So, sorry, Rojas Mati. That one, that strategy was a bold move, but did not work that time. Let's see if uh, they get away with <laughs> trying it again. All right, Rojas Mati versus Seaward. There we go. Oh, all right. Oh, no. We've got an actual game going now. Okay. So something about that initial configuration just didn't sit well with, with Rojas Mati. But we've got an actual game now. Let's see if they can come back. Player two wins. Unfortunately not. Seaward takes it in two with the sweep. Moving on to the next round. Let's do this. All right. So Seaward will be playing against Julie. All right. Flynn Sharp versus Ahmed. Let's do it. Flynn Sharp versus Ahmed. Boom. I wish I could do um, channel point predictions for this. I do have channel points, believe it or not, but I have them turned off for class things. So I don't, I don't think I should like enable the gambling uh, for this one. Has anything like this happened in the intro to game AI course? In the intro to game AI course, um, we have like for every assignment, there's a like a challenge, but it's like a single player challenge to get the fastest code. So we don't have like games like this in, in the video game AI course, unfortunately. Um, no, I do actually. The very first assignment is a Tron AI. So the very first assignment in the course is a, is a Tron tournament. So you write your own Tron AI. All right, player one. So Flynn Sharp took that one. I've got a bunch of chat to catch up on. Flynn Sharp, congratulations. Um, let's go back and Ahmed versus Flynn Sharp this time. All right, turn on auto play. Oh, I got a bunch of messages here. My understanding is Stockfish started combining neural net and traditional heuristic play in version 14. I don't know anything about that. You can use the depth to take the shortest loss, but the longest loss to avoid the weirdest behavior. Yeah, so what I recommend in, instead of taking depth of search, you just take the number of pieces on the board in Connect 4 because there's already that information. And so you want to take the win where there's the fewest pieces on the board and you want to take the loss where's there, where there's the most pieces on the board. So that's a good tiebreaker that you can do. Um, all right. Player two wins. So Flynn Sharp with the sweep over Ahmed. Ahmed came from the, uh, the wild card race. Oops, wrong one. Sorry, Flynn Sharp. Didn't mean to scare you there. All right. Now we've got Shanto Biswas versus Shagule. Uh, I already forgot the names. Shanto Biswas versus Shagule. All right, here we go. Tron AI was fun, I agree. Nobody is perfect and their AI won't be. Um, if my teacher had an OnlyFans at 1 million points, that's hilarious. Um, SF had been using, okay, I don't know about Stockfish. It seemed like both players had the perfect algorithm. Yeah, no one has the perfect algorithm here, that's for sure. Uh-oh, uh-oh, who did that? Who moved last? That was Shanto Biswas. That was more than one second, Shanto Biswas. So that is, you get one do-over. Yeah. Exception errors for Shanto Biswas. Okay. So you get one. That was your one chance. Fortunately, you finished the game and you lost. Um, so Shagule gets that one. But if Shanto Biswas um, stalls again, that's an auto DQ. Oh, come on, dude. Don't be crashing my Firefox. Firefox on its last legs here. All right, Shanto Biswas, I see what it is. Can't win the tournament, so you crash my Firefox.
All right. All right. We got it. We got it. JavaScript finally yielded. All right. So we got Shagule here. Shanto Biswas with the unlikely <laughs> flip the table. All right. Here we go. Okay, so now the constructor is is taking forever. All right, here we go. We're playing finally. What? Okay, I'm refreshing for that because I I feel some shenanigans are going on. I I don't know. I feel like Shaguli should not be winning this if they're timing out in the first game. But let's just see. All right, what we're going to do is I'm going to test both of these AIs. I'm not blaming JavaScript. JavaScript is terrible in a very good way. All right, but I am going to blame Firefox. So we're going to go back and reload that page. All right. Shanto Biswas. Okay. Shaguli. Autoplay. All right. Here we go. Okay, so something must have been wrong with Firefox last time, because now it's playing properly. Oh no, did I do the same? All right. So. Yeah, exception occurred in Shanto Biswas again. So, unfortunately, that's it. No. So, no matter how well they did, um, I saw the exception happen down in Shanto Biswas twice. So, that's an auto DQ. Um, because I can't be uh, dealing with that. So, unfortunately, for Shanto Biswas, they had their one chance and then they did it again. So, uh, that is Shaguli moving on into the next round. Yeah, Sag in the chat for Shanto Biswas, unfortunately. But they also lost the first game, so it's it's not that terrible. So now we have Mabina Jafari and Babay Zari. Okay. Mabina. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, they if even if they won the second game, they still had an exception happening, okay? And they were taking more than one second per turn. And that had to that had to be. Um you can't you can't have errors in your algorithm. I'll be back in one second. I think my cat's trying to get it. Uh-oh, illegal action. Player one, Mabina Jafari. We're gonna reload. If it does it again, you be out. Uh-oh, a bunch of exceptions caught. Yeah. Mabina Jafari versus Babe. One more try. They may have tried to place it uh, on an illegal spot or on a full column I think it said zero which means column one so it was a full column most illegal actions are being done on a full column zero um, because that's like sort of the def yeah okay so we've got exceptions being caught over here and illegal actions being performed here so unfortunately that's a DQ for Mabina Jafari Better luck next time. Sometimes, you know, you train for the Olympics for four years and then you trip up on the starting line. That's all you can do. All right. Canon Venkat versus Alam Rahman. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You don't move on with a DQ. That's for sure. I would have caught that. I would have caught that. All right. That, I was just making sure you were all awake. 
All right, so now who do we have? Kenan and Alam. Kenan, where are you? Alam, here we go. Perfect. So is your mark on assignment based on how far you get? No, this is just for bragging rights. This is for street cred. And you do get a little certificate that you can um, submit, you know, on your resume. When you apply to a job, you don't need a resume. You just say, here, I won the class tournament for Connect Four. And they're like, oh, wow, that's Dave's class. You won. You get the job. Would you like to be CEO? That's just how it works. It's guaranteed. Um, Kanan Venkit taking the first game of that one. All right, now we swap them. Alam and Kanan. Can confirm, yep. This is why I'm not the CEO. Yeah, I mean, all you had to do was win. Uh-oh. What? Okay. What? 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 Misplay into misplay. I gotta... Okay. We got... We gotta... Sorry. Uh, I'm getting back to that point. No, not one second timer issues. Bad tie-breaking issues. Okay. So, yellow... I turned off autoplay. Yellow did not block, right? Yellow didn't block. Red didn't take. Yellow blocks. <laughs> oh my God, red. Yellow doesn't block. Red takes, what? Okay, well I guess they both thought, hey, if red had the game one in the beginning, you know what? Sometimes that happens. Kanan Venkit takes it down. All right. Kanan Venkit. All righty. That was who won, right? Yeah, that's who won. All right. Okay. So, we've got the top 16 now. So, we've got Nash versus Shaji Rabi. So, we know that everyone here has a working system. So now the games are going to get pretty intense as we move on through the bracket. So Nash versus Shaji Rabi. All right. I'm going to do a little bit of a poll here. Let's let's change it up. So time limit for top 16. 1,000, uh, 500, 1,500, 2,000. All right, duration. You've got two minutes to vote on the time limit for the top 16 matches. So there's a poll out there now. Let's see what people choose. Yes, this is a democracy moment, not an anarchy moment. 2000's got a huge lead. Unless something makes a comeback, we're looking at 2000. So you guys voted to make round of 16 twice as long. Thank you. I guess I shouldn't have had it as an option if I didn't want it, but all right. So let's start setting this up because 2000 is just winning. Shash, Shash, Nash and Shaji Rabi. Nash, Shaji Rabi, 2000, 2000. All right, here we go. I guess I can go AFK between these matches now. God, it's already been an hour.
How many calculation can a computer do in two seconds? Um, it, it depends on the calculation. Like, you know, square root takes a lot longer than an addition. But cycles per second, you know, billions of cycles per second. And however many cycles your operations take, you just divide that. All right, 2,000. That's a little bit slow. That's, that's a little bit slow. Maybe we'll leave 2,000 for the top eight, okay? We'll, we'll switch back to 1K. All right, so player one, one. We'll we'll do 2K for this for this game, but I, I can't I can't be here all night with the top 16. All right. Um, okay, so Nash won the first one. We will play that game again with the same time settings. So we had Shaji Ravi versus Nash. We'll we'll keep doing this one with 2,000, just this match. But I'm not I'm not that that's way too long for the top 16. So apologies for the, the anti-democracy top eight maybe top eight maybe people making fun of javascript out there in the chat it's actually quite fast now it's it's insanely fast and it's actually faster in chrome than it is in firefox and i'm using firefox right now the Chrome's V8 engine is like, it's remarkable. It's really good. Player two, so Nash takes it. All right, Nash takes it. Congratulations, Nash, you are the first team into the top eight. All right, uh, we're going back to one second because I can't I can't stomach that for the whole top sixteen. Now we have Price Din versus Zazu. Price Din versus Zazu. Price Din. Zazu. Let's go. Lots of talk about JavaScript out there. JavaScript has a lot of issues, but it works. So, I mean, the reason I use JavaScript in this course is because of the user interfaces that you can make. Like, have fun making that in C++. Oh, player 2-1, Zazo, taking it. Um, and this, this course is not necessarily about like extreme low level optimization. Um, price, din, zazu, okay. It's about algorithms. And you can write algorithms in any language. The first time this course was offered, um, not this course, but this course was based on another course called 4752, which was called Computational Intelligence. And that course, I did it in Python. And Python ended up being a nightmare. Python is just way too slow. Uh, it's way slower than JavaScript. Py Python is just ugh, brutal. Player one. So Zazu taking it in two games. Here we go. Zazu will face off against Nash in the top eight. I'm so bad. So if there's a tie again... We generate a random number, and then we play on a larger board, um, and the random number determines who goes first and who goes second. Now we have French Rodriguez. French Rodriguez. French. Ahmad Rodriguez. Let's do it. You can use PyPy, which is a JIT compiler for Python, depending on the operations. It can be faster. Yeah, I know, but I didn't want to. I'd just rather go to JavaScript. The the U, the UIs that I can make for this course are incredible in comparison to anything else, any other programming language. Like being able to use HTML for for user interfaces is just 
it's really good. And when the point is to see the data visualization and to understand the algorithms and to help you debug, it's a very worthwhile tool. My other courses are in C++, and I, I love C++. It's my main language for everything. Oh, it looks like we got a draw. French Rodriguez got a draw. But um, for some things, you want to go with the visualizations. Okay, so we have a draw there. Now we flip them. So we have Ahmad Rodriguez and French. I use Python extensively, though most of the performance intensive parts use lower level extension. Yeah, so you use NumPy, right? Like the, the thing that Python is good at is calling libraries that are written in C or calling GPU stuff for deep learning. Python is an excellent scripting language, but writing alpha beta in pure Python is hot garbage and you don't want to do it. Player one, Ahmad Rodriguez. Let's go. All right. So now, because we played the first two games, we generate a random number. This is the player that uh, Ahmad Rodriguez will be. Ahmad Rodriguez will be player one. Okay, so we'll flip it. Ahmad Rodriguez versus French, and we crank it. We crank it. So here, if Ahmad Rodriguez wins, it's over. If French wins, we flip the players and we do the third game. Um, people are asking about the scores, like, you know, let's just, just look at it. This is how I'm doing it. So here, um, if French wins, it's tied. That's not an error. Um, this is a JavaScript thing that is not the fault of any player. Sometimes this promised error, promised response from on message is just a thing that happens in Firefox sometimes. It has nothing to do with, with the assignments. Player one wins, Ahmad Rodriguez. Congratulations on winning. So that is a pretty clear victory there. Ahmad Rodriguez moving on to the finals. Not the finals, geez, the top eight. I wish it was the finals. I gotta stand here for another hour and a half. All right, uh, we got Z versus L. That's how I'm gonna do it from now on. Z versus L. Uh-oh. That's Lineage Penny, right? Yes. Okay. So we've got uh, these two teams. Here we go. Luajit is the king of performant scripting languages, but I 100% agree with JS for the course because the ease of entering interfaces. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it's worked out really well. Computer engineering has taught me one thing. Language wars are terribly bad for mental health and unproductive. Yep, languages are tools. Exactly. It's like asking someone like a like a carpenter or a construction worker, what's the best tool? Oh, hammer. Saw. Like you can't have the best tool, right? You use tools for for different things. Okay. Uh Lianage Penny takes game number 1. Alrighty. Game number 1 to Lianage Penny. Now we're going to flip them. Leonage Penny versus Gray. Here we go. Yeah, use the best tool for the job. Programming languages are just tools. Nothing is the best, but Perl is the worst. Right? Right? Just joking. I love Perl. All right, Leonage Penny takes that one in two straight. So congratulations, moving on to the next round. All right, Mohammed Singh versus Coffee now. Mohammed Singh versus Coffee. Good luck. Pearl has built-in obfuscation, yep. My friend called JS a McDonald's language. Yeah, it's terrible, but it will do if you need something done quickly. I guess, you know, if you want something really cheap and uh, really bad for your health, I guess that's JavaScript in a nutshell. 
Player two wins, so Coffee takes this one. Congratulations to Coffee on the first round. And now we flip it. Auto play on. Here we go. Bunch of tower builders. Oh, oh, okay. Can I beat the champ? I'll play a game against the champ and I'll lose because I'm terrible at Connect Four. Player two, wow, okay. So Muhammad Singh wins on the, is that our first top row win? I don't think we've seen that yet. Top row horizontal win. Muhammad Singh sending it into a best of three. All right, so Muhammad Singh will be player one. All right, Muhammad Singh versus Coffee. And we crank it, always crank it. If you want a language that looks obfuscated, look at APL. Yeah, APL is crazy. If you want to see one of the most insane programming videos ever made, look at on YouTube, Conway's Game of Life in APL. Conway's Game of Life in APL. It's just a ridiculous, ridiculous video. Coffee won. All right. Congratulations to Coffee for taking it in three games and moving on to the top eight. Here we go. Coffee moves on to the top eight. Okie dokie. Who's next? We've got Julie and Seaward. And we've got some people out there calling it for, for Julie to go all the way. So we'll see. We've got Julie versus Seaward. Let's go. Do you know Advent of Code? I've heard of it, but I don't I don't recall. Oh yeah, Game of Life is awesome. I talk about Game of Life in um, my Game AI course next term in the procedural content generation section. Will chat's prediction come true? Player one. Okay, so you saw here, um, turn off autoplay, undo, undo. So the red player here did not block, right? But why didn't it block? Probably because it saw that it was going to lose somewhere else anyway. Okay, so if we, um, oh crap. Who won that game? It was player one. Was it Julie? Someone please remind me, was it Julie? Can you go look at the VOD? It was Julie? Okay, thank you. All right, so Julie won. Congratulations. Now we flip it. Seaward versus Julie. Auto play on. Let's do it. Advent of Code is a yearly coding puzzle. Oh, so like an advent calendar for Christmas. That's cool. I've never done that. I have enough work to do without doing extra work. Player one. Uh-oh. C-word. C-word. Challenging the crowd favorite, Julie. All right. So uh, C-word will be player one for the third match. All right. Seaward versus Julie. Crank it. Turn out a play. Let's see how this one goes. Every year, Advent of Code has a new storyline. You have to help Santa save Christmas. Each program solves a problem he's run into. Oh, that's cool. I like when when uh, people do that create stories around programming and learning. That's really nice. 
I, I think that good teaching is good storytelling. You have to, you have to um, be a good storyteller to be a good teacher, in my opinion. Player two wins. Julie won the third game and moves on. All right. Julie. Here we go. Oh, did we get a Connect 5? Was that our first Connect 5? Yes, it was. Nice. Okay. So, now we go to the next match. Flynn Sharp versus Shaguli. Shaguli got by on a bit of a buy last time, so we got Flynn Sharp versus Shaguli. Let's go. Auto play on. Can someone who's not enrolled in the course compete in one of these competitions? Unfortunately, no. This is only for um, people in the class. Well, that was interesting. Flynn Sharp. Hmm. Was it Shaguli all along? Was it Shaguli all along that was taking up the time? Shaguli's still printing stuff. What's happening here? Do we have a sleeper cheater? So, Shaguli versus Flynn Sharp. We may have to, uh, we may have to go back. We may have to go back on this one. Uh, I have a solution though. So, let's say this is Shaguli and this is Flynn Sharp, right? So, Flynn Sharp won the first one. But, let's turn on autoplay. Let's see what happens here. We've got no printout for some reason. Shigali's printing out a bunch of stuff, which is probably making it perform worse. Yeah, the, the print statements here from Shiguli are not helping it any. No, Shaguli is, is, is cheating on time. Oh dear. What am I going to do here? Well, what I'm going to do is I am going to do the following. Shaguli was playing against Shanto Biswas. I'm going to play Flynn Sharp against Shanto Biswas. And if there's no hanging in Flynn Sharp, Shanto Biswas, then that was the game that was supposed to happen. Okay. So let's close this tab. We'll make a new tab. We'll go back here. And this is going to be Flynn Sharp versus Shanto Biswas. Flynn Sharp, Shanto Biswas. All right, now we'll see what was supposed to happen. No, okay. Shanto Biswas gets exception occurs. But maybe they're maybe they're catching that exception. Maybe they're catching that exception because they're still playing. Okay, so Flynn won this one. And we'll play one more. So Shaguli was was doing things that weren't right. Um, Flynn beat it. Flynn won again. Okay, so here's how it, it turned out that Shaguli was the lagger, and Shanto Biswas catching their exceptions in a verbal way was making me think um, that it was them, but it wasn't. It was Shaguli. But fortunately, none of that matters because Flynn Sharp beat both of them. Okay, so Flynn Sharp beat whoever that was, so Flynn Sharp moves on, and no harm, no foul, all right? Um, 
some people are asking for uh, edits to their code during the tournament. Not a chance. Um, you deliver something to your customer, that's how she goes. Um, maybe you can patch it later, but no, nope. we're, we're not doing requested edits to your code during the tournament. You've got to submit it. All right. Um, all right. But like I said, the good thing is Flynn Sharp beat both of them. So no matter who it was. So I will withdraw. Not a DQ. Okay. We're going to put like a, like a question mark here. Like what happened in this game doesn't matter because Flynn Sharp beat both of them. All right. So, next one, we've got, uh, Bab versus Can. okay? Yeah, just let me edit everyone's code real quick. Bab versus Can. here we go. This is the last match of the top 16. Bab versus Can. Yeah, thank you to Flynn Sharp for beating both of them. Um... So that I know, like, I know that the results are fine. Player one wins. So Bab wins the first one. Okay, now we'll reverse it. Ken versus Bab. Here we go. Then it's two seconds, right? Yeah, the crowd voted for two seconds, so... We'll do two seconds for the top eight. Okay. Okay. Whatever. We'll do two seconds. Player two. So Bab won again. That was a pretty handy win uh, for Bab. All right. So we take Bab. And Bab will be playing against Flynn Sharp. So now we have the top eight. All righty. So let me edit the top eight code real quick so that it starts at 2000 instead of 1000 because I'm not going to be switching that every single time that will get really annoying so uh, where is that 2000 2000 all right so that should work let's come back um, now we've got the top eight so we've got Nash versus versus Zazu Nash versus Zazu. And as you can see, now it's 2,000 milliseconds. Perfect. So now we're thinking for two seconds. Yeah, one hour for the final. Right. Zazu doing a bunch of print statements. Probably not helping it any, but not, not hurting either. I'm going to do a poll while this is happening. Chat decides my dinner. So is it going to be pizza? Is it going to be uh, hot dogs? Is it going to be butter chicken? Is it going to be sandwich? Or is it going to be burger? You've got 10 minutes to decide my dinner. There you go. Yeah, but butter chicken I have to make, right? What toppings on the hot dogs? Uh, ketchup, mustard, cheese, relish, onions. All right, so player two won. I, I forgot about the, the actual game. That was the whole reason I'm here. So Zazu won the first game there. Congratulations to Zazu. That is the, uh, not the first loss that Nash has, has taken, but... Um, Zazu versus Nash. Two seconds. Let's go. Nobody picking hot dogs. Wow. I might have to choose hot dogs just to, to spite the chat. While this is playing, I'll be right back.
so real quick, um, does this work? Oh, it sure does. Um, this from Costco is amazing. It's amazing. Like this sauce is better than butter chicken I get at some Indian restaurants. So I, I'm not sponsored by them, but it's like screenshot it if you want. It's from Costco. It comes in packs of two and it's like incredible. It's so good. So, so good. All right. Back to the middle. Uh, who won? Player two won. Nash. Congratulations on making this one interesting. Yeah, I haven't tried the coconut one. Um, these ads are getting weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, well, chat is, is trying to force me to do butter chicken. All right. But burger is still there. Burger is still, um, is still, is still competing with butter chicken. Um, so as we do, we've got Nash Zazu, not trying to rhyme, but it's random time. Oh, I didn't say who this was. Uh, Zazu is going to be player two. All right. So Zazu is player two, which means Nash is player one. Zazu player two. And we crank it for the third. There we go. If you want good butter chicken, try Pizza House. Despite the bad naming, they have good Italian or oh, Indian food. That's cool. Nash is going to make it for sure. Too bad a trip to the US would be very expensive. What does that mean? Bike Keeper, what are you saying? Um, I work at the movies. I'm tired of hot dogs as a concept. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I just love hot dogs. Hot dogs are like probably the food that is like has the highest delicious to price ratio. Player one, Nash. Nash keeping it going. Wow. Congratulations to Nash. Here we go. Is Nash out there? Is Nash out there? Say something, Nash, if you're there. All right. Nash is here. Um, Ahmad Rodriguez versus Leonage Penny. Ahmad Rodriguez versus Leonage Penny. Penny. Let's go. Two seconds. Let's see how my dinner poll is going. We've got 60 people out there and only about 30 have voted. So get your votes in for my dinner. No, no hot dog fans out there. That's shocking. Have any of you had uh, the sandwiches at Mana Bakery? They're just, they're so good. Well, don't type it in the chat. Vote for it in the poll. Look at the top of the chat. There's a poll. Yeah, Mana Bakery sandwiches. They're just so good. But they're so expensive. But the thing is, like, you can have half a sandwich for Mana and be full. It's like, they're so gigantic. Oh, we've got a Connect 5 lined up here. And Red did not take it. So, Red didn't take it, but they knew that if they didn't take it, they'd get the next one. So, Leonage Penny BMing Ahmad Rodriguez, not taking the immediate win, going for the backup win. All right. Nope. There we go. That's it, right? Player two. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, now we flip it. Yeah, they intentionally didn't take the Connect 5. Come on. So, Ahmad Rodriguez, Lineage Penny. So, Lineage Penny on the top. Ahmad Rodriguez. Let's go. What other sleeper places are out there that I could go get dinner? <sighs> Butter chicken. So much effort. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to cheat. And I'm going to go get the, like, pre-made butter chicken pasta at the store because that's actually really good too those like ten dollar frozen ones pretty good are all the ai's minimax yes they are minimax with alpha beta pruning i didn't allow anything else because this was the assignment for the course where you're supposed to implement alpha beta 
Donatis is pretty good. Man, I haven't had a Donair in so long. In so, so long. Three sisters, Vietnamese subs. Maybe I'll try that. Player one, Leonage Penny taking it down in two. Nice work. All right. Leonish Penny doing some upsetting out there in the chat. Okay, we've got our first semi-final match lined up. Now we've got Coffee versus Julie, two strong players. Coffee versus Julie competing on the two-second setting. Coffee taking the middle spot first. Decent move. Kebab, yep. All right, let's see how this works. So if the team that ended up winning beat you, then you just, you came second place, right? That's, that's how I'd look at it. Oh, Julie has this nice structure here, so they can win on the left or the right. Um, Coffee has blocked off Julie from placing in this column. Whew, this is looking good for Julie. Yep, wow. They said, look at this. There could have been a win here, a win here, a win here, a win here, a win. That was, that was. That was domination. All right, Zhu Li taking game number one. Now we switch sides. Zhu Li to make sure it wasn't a fluke. Coffee, let's go. I'll be back in one second. I got a visitor who wanted to watch the matches. Player one, Zhu Li. Congratulations. Let's, uh... Here we go. Here's Luna. Oh. This is Luna. She says hello. She's pretty cute. She just woke up from a nap. No, not the same cat. We have two cats. So Julie, congratulations to Julie making chat happy with their predictions. Um, you have about 30 seconds to decide my dinner. Pizza at 9 votes. Butter chicken at 11 votes. Burger at 9 votes. Go up and vote. You don't have much time left. You can swing it. You can still swing it. Where's Julie? There's Julie. Let's bring it down. All right, lastly, we have Flynn Sharp, who, who had to battle their way against two people. Okay, butter chicken. Butter chicken it is. Flynn Sharp versus Bebe Zare. All right. Flynn Sharp versus Babe Zare. Let's do it. That one vote was the cat. <laughs> she doesn't like hot dogs. I try, I, I gave one to her once. Cat likes, um, she likes turkey slices. She likes turkey slices. She's a pretty picky eater, actually, for a cat. Flynn Sharp setting up the... Okay, that was blocked. Any groups still left in the tournament out there in the chat? Can you can you raise your hand? Wow, 
Wow, they don't like the first two columns, do they? This is this is esports. You may think that like League of Legends or Dota or StarCraft is esports. No, this is esports. Oh, we've got a few people in the tournament out there. That's cool. Player one, Flynn Sharp, taking it down. So Flynn Sharp has been like murdering. Um, now we flip it. Bobby, Flynn Sharp, auto play. Let's do it. Hello to all the first time people in the course or in, in the in the course in the in the stream. When are the grades for this coming out, by the way? Um, because of the later due date, the grades won't be for a little while. Esports caster of the year. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm definitely adding to this by talking. Um, I think Flynn Sharp is gonna is gonna challenge Zhu Li. I don't know. My heuristic unintentionally optimizes setting up as many potential wins as possible. It's cruel to play against as a human. So Ninty, which uh, which team are you on, if you don't mind saying? Oh, you're Flynn Sharp, cool. So it's impossible for Flynn and Julie to meet in the finals, unfortunately because they're going to be playing in the semifinals, I believe. Let's let's keep this uh this game going and then we'll go see. This might be a draw. No, red, yellow. Oh, player 1. What? Flynn. Flynn, let's see. Undo action. Undo action. Red, yellow. Okay, that was a win for player 1. Red, I see. So you were stuck there. Okay. So, Babe taking the win. I thought that was in the bag for Flynn Sharp. All right. So, Flynn Sharp is going to be player two. So, Babe, Flynn Sharp, and we crank it. Gotta crank it for game three. Let's do it. If opponent algorithm is smart enough, it will keep blocking those paths, and then it will be more prone to draw your AI rather than win. Interesting. The game is solved. Pers first player wins with perfect play. Yeah, the game is solved for the standard size board, but it's not solved for larger boards. So we can still make it interesting, right? I can't detect what's going on here yet. Any clear strategies happening? Lots of middle of the board. People don't like this column for some reason. These larger board two second games can get pretty long. Yellow, red, yellow, Red had win, connect six. Where are you seeing this? I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like a tennis game, right? Like, what do you say? Wow, column, column three. Nobody likes column three. Well, three if you count like a computer scientist. The diagonals make it hard to see where the winning piece might land on a larger board. That is true. Red. Yellow. Red. <laughs> what would it be? Yellow. <laughs> what can you say? Oh, connect five for player one. Flynn Sharp goes down. One, two, three, four, five. Where was the connect six? I didn't see it. Who's, who's saying there's a connect six somewhere? People are saying it missed a win somewhere. Right above. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. There's a connect six. 
Yeah, that was impossible though because of this. Yeah. Well, either way, whatever happened, uh, Babe Zare ended up winning it even after all the talking, uh, the hyping I did for Flynn Sharp. So congratulations to Babe Zare. All right, we are in the semifinals. Um, I don't have a real bracket here for the finals, so let's make the finals right here, I guess. And let me uh, fill those in. There we go. So that's where the finals will be once we're done. So uh, let's try and fit all this on the screen. We've got Nash versus Lineage Penny and Julie versus Bobby Zare. All right. So we'll reload. We've got Nash versus Lineage Penny. All right. Good luck. Good luck. It's pretty intense. I'm I'm like not nervous, but like I can feel the nerves for the people who are watching. I've been in this situation before. Then each penny trying to tower to the ceiling didn't end up making it though, but all those red pieces in the middle are going to be a problem for Nash, I think. That's a pretty good setup. Nash has blocked off column 5 here. So if red puts a piece here, they can't they can't get here. They've blocked off column 5 and column 2. But okay. Uh-oh. Red, yellow, Red, yellow, red. Oh! Player two, Lineage Penny takes down Nash with a diagonal win. Okay. Lineage Penny taking down game one. Oh, that's the wrong color. There we go. Game one. Now we flip it. Lineage Penny versus Nash. So the instant moves are happening because that player's alpha beta sees the end of the game. If there's only like 10 moves left, if you can search to depth 10, then you don't need the full second, right? Or the full two seconds. Some players may be using some caching, may not be. But the caching shouldn't be, shouldn't be making things instant. It's depending on their alpha beta values that their heuristic has given them, they can have a bunch of pruning being done in a way that lets them see the end of the game, okay? And so if you see the end of the game, you don't take up the full 2,000 milliseconds. Someone said caching is only really good when you don't reset the bot. That's not necessarily true because caching can help with, with iterative deepening alpha beta. Caching can help with that. Game is a draw. Oh dear Lord. The semifinals with a draw. All right. So you know what we do? Nash is going to be player number two. And we got to crank it. So lineage penny versus Nash and we crank it um, let's go oh lineage penny just went for it there why not trying to sneak one by old Nash Even though you know that your algorithm is smart, you're still like, oh my god, please, please block that move. <laughs> Nash likes the two stackers. Nash building this structure in the middle. It's going to be hard to get there, though, because he can't put reds here. That's a good little play here by Lineage Penny. 
Nash has the upper region. Lineage Penny has the bottom region. This is intense. Gotta connect five. Oh, this is gonna be where the win is, right here, I think. Connect six, six possibility. I'm in, I'm in like enthralled by this. No, no. The end. The end has come for Nash. All right. Uh, lineage Penny. Nash couldn't move here. Nash couldn't move here, and he had to pick one of them. So Lineage Penny takes it. Win, draw, win for Lineage Penny. Moving into the finals. Against either Julie, which apparently is the crowd favorite, versus Babe Zare. So let's set that match up. Uh, Julie first, Babe second. Nash refused the other player connect six, allowing only the connect five. That is the best option. I love this commentary. Julie has the home crowd advantage. Lots of people cheering. When we get to the finals, I'm going to do a poll for the finals, okay? Was dinner decided on? Yes, it's butter chicken. I have it right here. Making me go through the effort of cooking. Bunch of jerks. Well, I'm gonna go to the store. There's a store like a minute from my house and they actually sell butter chicken that I could just warm up and it's pretty good. So I'll try that. If it's not there, then I'll have to make it. Butter chicken pizza, that would actually be delicious. I usually have bread when I eat butter chicken, so does that count? Babe Jerry is holding their own here. Wow. Okay. So if it gets to the top, Julie has a has a big advantage. Oh no! Julie taking it, taking it. I want to analyze this situation. So if Red played, so Red played here, and then they took the win, right? So if Red played here. What does Yellow do then? So is it like this? Red, yellow, red, yellow, red. Yeah, okay. So that's what it saw. So it couldn't possibly have, have lost. All right. Julie, living up to the crowd hype. Taking game one. Now we flip it. Um, Bobby on top. Julie on bottom. Let's start it. Yellow wins as soon as anything went in left column. Yeah, probably. That looked like it was. We're up to like 75 people viewing now. If only all of you showed up for the lectures, then the midterm marks might have been a little bit higher, right? I'm joking. I'm joking with you. Boom, roasted. Whew. All right, Julie is red this time. What are they setting up? Interesting. We've got a win for both players on this square. That's interesting. Warlock guy. I think I know who that is. What's up? Do you take non-student submissions? No, unfortunately not. Here we go. Oh, they're placing in the death column. The death column. What's going to happen? Player two. Julie, so let's uh, let's do an instant replay. Yellow moved here, making Julie win here, which was like a double win here. If they have gone here, then they have to go here, 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 here. Yeah, okay. All right. So Julie, Julie, taking it. All right. So we've got Julie versus Lineage Penny in the finals. We're gonna take. 
two legends. You know who's also a legend? Raid Shadow Legend. No, okay, I don't have actually actually any ads. Um, so let's do a quick poll to see who the crowd favorite is. Winner. We've got L I Y. Here we go. You've got two minutes to pick the crowd favorite in the poll. Click up above the chat. We've got a poll going for the winner. Apparently the underdog is Lineage Penny because people think Julie is going to take it. This is going to be best three out of five. Okay, we're going to go with two seconds. And after the first two games, we're going to crank it. No matter what the settings are, okay? Oh, we've got pretty much a tied vote so far. This is pretty cool. I'm going for the underdog, some people think. I don't know why there's an underdog. I don't know why people like Julie. I guess Crow has just been hyping up Julie the whole time, so people are piling on that bandwagon. Best of five final. Oh yeah, we gotta have the best of five. You can't just let it ride on, on one thing. Um, here we go. Let's cover that up. Should we have a third place match first? I think we should. I think we should. So this is, um, this is the final. Right here. Okay. Uh, let's do a third place match. So let's take this. Let's do third place first. All right, so we're gonna have Bob A versus Nash. Ah, sorry Nash, I squished you. All right, now let's do this. I don't care, I don't know why I care about this so much, but I do, this has gotta look good. All right, the poll. Oh, Liange Penny wins the poll 16 to 15. 52% to 48%. Crazy. All right, third place is going to be best uh, two out of three again. We'll use the standard rules for that. Nash versus Babe. All right, let's do it. All right, we've got Nash. We've got Babe. Nash, Bobby, let's go. Third place game. This is the uh, for the bronze medal. Good thing we didn't do it as a round robin. Yeah, right. What I might do later is if I if I can set it up easily, I might do just like a, a round robin that I can leave running like overnight or something. But I think we've pretty much determined who the better algorithms are at this point. However, like if we go look at like some of the earlier matches. Um, Okay, none of these first these first ones, but like maybe Borden Shaw was a really good one, just ended up losing to Julie, for example, right? So let's see. How's this one going? Nash versus Babe. Nash in the yellow trunks. Babe Zare in the red trunks. Yellow. Red. Yellow. Red, yellow. Red, yellow. Player two. Babe Zare takes game one. There's a reason they're in the semi-final, and that reason is because they beat up people. Bobby Zare takes game one. All right, here we go. Bobby Zare now takes yellow, and Nash takes red. This is for third place. Let's see if Nash can make a comeback. Nash doesn't win game ones ever. Don't worry, guys. Just making it interesting for you. Is that Nash out there? Hyping up, hyping up Nash. Might that be Nash? Nice. Nash out here trying to take home this bronze. Putting it on that grad school application form. More important than any grades is third place in this Connect Four tournament. 
it's actually going to be a um, a requirement for NSERC next year that you compete in this competition, I think. Who is it? Nash and Bobby. Bobby's taking their turns like instantaneously. Player one wins. Bobby Zari. Bobby Zari sweeps Nash in the semifinals. Congratulations. Uh, what am I going to do? Here, I'm going to do something. Uh, podium. Let's be the jankiest possible um, here. Hang on. I'm, I'm going to be as janky as possible. Um, there we go. I'm going to leave the Shutterstock logo on it. One second. Here we go. I gotta make this. Uh, uh, uh. You can't see this yet. I know. Here we go. All right. We've got the podium. Bob Azare takes third place. Over here on the podium. Bob Azare, congratulations. As scuffed as possible. Shutterstock logo still on it. URL down here. Copyright still on it. This is for educational purposes. Don't come after me. All right. On to the final that you've all been waiting for. Lianich Penny versus Zhu Li. Oh, exposed. Exposed. All right. Lianich Penny versus Zhu Li. And we're going to crank it. All right. Should we crank it over or crank it under? Should I have like a one game of like 500 milliseconds? I don't know. Now nah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, we're not going to do five seconds because I do eventually have to eat. Let's just go with this. After two games, whoever wins, we're going to crank it. All right. So here's the first game of the finals. Leonage Penny in yellow and Julie. Um, in red. Leonage Penny was the crowd favorite 16 to 15 in the poll in the Twitch chat. So we'll see if that keeps going. Leonage Penny is building their trademark tower. Okay. Ooh, Julie going over in the corner. Who knows what that was for? I guess to block this one off. How about this user interface, though? It's pretty neat. I like it. I made it. Drawn some circles. Drawn some lines. Drawn some other circles. Red and yellow colorings. Trying to make it colorblind friendly. Oh, we're getting toward the end here. Ooh, Leonich Penny taking game one of the finals. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. Game one. Is that the first game that Julie dropped? No. Seaward took a game from Julie in the round of 16. So they have not, not won everything. Has Leonich Penny dropped a game yet? 1 1, 1 1, 1 1. So Leonich Penny. Oh, it drew a game against Nash. Okay. So Leonich Penny has not lost a single game yet. Okay, it has not lost. All right. Julie on top. Leonage Penny on bottom. Can the unbeaten streak of Leonage Penny keep going? Is Leonage Penny out there in the chat? It would be a huge, a huge win if they were in the chat so they could gloat over everyone, right? If they don't want to expose themselves, that's fine. They absolutely don't have to. I just think it's fun if they can, uh, you know, talk a little trash after the game. Oh, hey, Leonage Penny. What did you do? What did you do? Because it's working. So if, 
If Julie comes back here, we'll be tied in the finals. The finals is a best of five. I'm going to make the finals a best of seven because I want to try shorter time limits. Sorry if I'm throwing a wrench in anyone's plans, but I want to try shorter time limits as well as these longer time limits. So we're going to make a best of seven for the finals. Best of seven. This is crazy. This is a crazy game. Whew. What's happening? I don't know who's going to win. Oh, it's yellow. Yellow's going to win. No, it's not. Oh my god. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> oh, we almost had a double connect four. Look at this. Almost had a double connect four. That would have been nuts. All right. We got a draw. Holy crap. Holy crap. Um, so we have a draw here. Uh, just give me one second. Cat was trying to leave the room. Had to open the door. All right. So now I'm going to crank it up. Oops. I don't want to do that. I'm going to refresh. Come on. Firefox. Not now. Not now, my friend. All right. Okay, so we are doing, um, who's going to be on top? Leonage Penny is going to be player number one. Okay, so Leonage Penny versus Julie, and we're cranking it up, but, but we're cranking this down. I want to see who performs well under the least computation. So this is this might be a quick one, but we've got a best of seven, remember? And then I crank it back up for the final couple of games. Here we go. Auto play on. Let's do it. Someone asked in the chat, do you feel like college is necessary to be a good programmer? Absolutely not. Experience is necessary to be a good programmer. If you program, you will get better at it. Player one, Lineage Penny, taking it out. Okay, here we go. Lineage Penny get another W. Now we have to flip it. So Julie on top. Julie. Lineage Penny. Cranking it. Under cranking it. Here we go. I'm considering doing it as a hobby and I can't, and I see what I can do with it. Yep, lots of tutorials around, lots of lectures you can watch to learn computer science and programming. It's not necessary to be in college. A college degree will help you get your resume in the door of a major company, but it won't guarantee you that you're a good programmer or a good employee. Player two, Oof. Oof. is that it? Is that it? One, two, three, and a draw. Technically, Julie could win all three of the next games. Okay? So it's not over yet. We're going to do one. So Julie will be player number one. And we're going to crank it. Julie versus Le Leanna Penny. Three second match on a cranked map. Uber cranked map. Let's crank it. Let's just do it. This is super cranked. All right. Boom. Let's see if they can come back. No, I don't want to do 10-10. I think the game should be uh, shorter than it is wide. One of the things that you will get from college, hopefully, is the experience of... Um, of working together and, and group work and learning to deal with people and learning a broad subject area. What a college education does is it teaches you to learn independently so that when you go to a job, you'll be able to learn what they want you to do, right? A computer science degree does not let you jump into any job and just start programming. Uh-oh! 
What? What is happening? What is happening? Is this the BM? Is this the throws? Oh, one of them knows they're gonna win and one of them knows they're gonna lose. And so they're just doing terrible moves. Julie, you better you better get this. If you lose this one, this is on you. <laughs> this is some BM from Julie. Oh my god. <laughs> Are they gonna fill out the whole map? So what's happening here? If you're not familiar with Minimax at a deep level, is that both bots, one bot has realized it has won, one bot has realized it has lost, and they're not doing the tie-breaking on taking the closest win or the furthest loss. And so they're not blocking that off. And so their tiebreaker is bad. And it's surprising they made it this far with a bad tiebreaker. And so if the tiebreaker is bad, then what's happened? Oh my god, if... Whew, okay, Julie... Had me scared there. But... Had me scared. <laughs> that was exciting. Alright, Julie... Gets a W on the board. So now we have to crank it in reverse... On those settings. So the Irish Penny on top. Julie on bottom. 3,000, 3,000. 10, 8, done. Alright. Oh, was it a double connect for? I didn't get a screenshot. Oh, well. All right. So again, this is the finals. Best of seven. It is three to one with a draw. So it is possible that this may go to a game eight if Julie wins the next two games to get on top of our scuffed Shutterstock podium and get all the street cred in the world. All right. So what Zhu Li did is, is completely taunt their opponent until they knew that if they didn't win, they were going to lose. And then as soon as they were about to lose, took the win. The reverse sweep would be pretty exciting, I'm not going to lie. This down here is not an error. I, I don't know exactly what that is, but um, it's, it's not an error in the bots. It's a JavaScript engine thing. Here we go. This is a fully cranked map. Those three seconds before you have to block something, this is like the perspiration just flowing. Like over here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is Julie doing it again? And they're doing it again. They're doing it again. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, this happening in the finals is nuts. This is the canonical example of of how tiebreakers matter, right? Of how tiebreakers matter. But not only that, but like they could be blocked. So I don't get it. It's like this weird double mistake. It's like, remember the Simpsons episode where Mr. Burns has every disease, so they all just block each other? That's like what's happening here. <laughs> Is that the two mistakes are like canceling each other out in this beautiful ballet of AI scuffed alpha beta. I don't know what's happening. But we have to wait here. <laughs> it's happening. And they won over here! Are you joking? <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Can you... You couldn't have scripted this. You couldn't have scripted it. Alright. Alright. We're going with an even... <laughs> more cranked board, I guess. Julie is going to be player number... Two. All right. Leonage Penny versus Julie. Cranking it. We're going. We're going to eleven. We're going to eleven. Uh, we're gonna keep it on two seconds for this one. All right. Oops. Okay. You're right. You're right. My bad. My bad. My bad. Um. 
There we go. We're good. Okay, it's all good. Let me reload it just to make sure that that other constructor didn't put in any weird stuff. Leonage Penny. Julie. I'm like, I'm nervous about this. This is crazy. We're cranking it to 11. We're going up to 9. Nah, we'll stay at 8. We'll stay at 8, but we'll go 11. All right. Auto play on. Let's see it. This is crazy, dude. <laughs> For this to happen at the end of two hours, there's been nothing like this. Wow, okay. That could have been a nightmare. This is cool. This is cool. Moving in the middle doesn't block connect fours over here anymore. So, like, the heuristic's got to be good. If there's any hard-coded stuff, you know, this is... This is crazy. You've you've gotta you've gotta have your heuristic on point here. Oh my god! Lineage Penny's doing it now. What's happening? Is everything falling apart in the finals? Are these large maps getting to them? Do they have hard coded nonsense? It, this can't be the way that it ends. But this is Lineage Penny. This isn't or Leonage Penny. This isn't uh. This isn't Julie slow playing this time. Well, they're definitely finishing depth one. I don't understand. No, I'm not returning to seven by six because this is where you you had to. This is where you had to perform in the cranked versions. Player one wins. Oh my. Player one, Leonage Penny. Taking it down in the finals. We had some uh, Julie action going on there. I thought that the reverse sweep was a possibility. I thought it was a possibility. In the end, Leonage Penny coming back, taking the gold. Here's the question Leonage Penny, undergrad or grad student? Did the undergrads win? I can't remember. Did the undergrads win? I don't know. Undergrad. Undergrad's taking it. Wow. Undergrad's taking it. What can you do? All right. So here's the final standings. Here's the entire tournament bracket. This is going to be pasted into Discord at everyone. Here we go. Boom. That is a worthy at everyone. Perfect. Five head undergrads. Oh my lord. Can't believe it. That's awesome. I'll save that later. That was so cool. I I didn't I thought that it was definitely going to be just like a sweep in the finals, but no. That that was great. I really enjoyed that. Um thank you all. Oh, and now I have to play the winner. That's right. Okay, so I'm going to do one game, and I'm going to try, but I'm pretty bad. All right. I am going to be player number two. So, Leonage Penny is going to beat my butt. Player two, human. Turn on autoplay. Let's go. All right, they go in the middle. I'm, like I said, I'm so bad at Connect 4. I'm so bad. Let's, let's try and confuse them. Alright, let's get, okay. I got as many pieces as you on the board. Uh, no, I'm going to take that one. Get out of here. Get out of here. I know those tricks. What the? <laughs> I'm so bad. Ah, oh, all right. That was a test. You're all awake. That was a test. Okay. We're just doing that one. We're doing that one over again. There we go. All right. That didn't happen. All right. Now we're back here. Yeah, this is it. Now I got to like, I got to do this, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Look at this guy blocking me off. 
All right, let's go up. Let's go up. I'll keep going up. I'm playing for the draw here, everybody. Well, I've got to take that one. Oh my God. I'm, I'm bad. I can't, I can't. It's AI, you know. But here's the really cool thing, is that if you take my course, you can create a brain that's better than you at something. Not at everything, but at something, right? So that was pretty cool. Um, let me let me hop over here for a quick sec. Um, I'm gonna go host somebody doing some game dev uh, on Twitch, cause I've got to go eat. And let's see who's out here. Let's let's get the the one viewer Andy's someone who's doing something interesting that we can host for a bunch of viewers. All right. Yeah, I got I got destroyed. I can't I don't know connect for. I'm just like my brain is just a worse version of the algorithm. Um GTA 5 self driving. What is this? This sounds AI related. Collecting more training data. All right. Let's go say hey we're coming from an AI class. We're going to raid this guy. He's doing some self-driving GTA 5 stuff. Go learn some AI. Couldn't have been a better person to host with one viewer doing AI. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next stream.